Hello, my name is Gabriela Bermudez and I am a student at Grand Canyon University. Today I will be speaking about the increase of student engagement and effectiveness of a group. It is important to create a culture that promotes communications between employees as well as their students. Here are four of the best practices. Number one, fostering dialogue is one of the four best practices for communicating effectively. We encourage and want to discuss the problem and the solution. Practice number two, regular meetings are the best practices. In today's digital world, communicating can also be done by email. Text messaging can be a great but cannot replace an in-person meeting. A lot of the times we might interpret a text message or an email incorrectly and think that the writer has different intentions. So it is also best to communicate in person one-on-one. -on -one. Best practice number three. According to Alexander, he says that it is the third best way to ensure everyone is included and to communicate. A team is weak if one member is not represented. We need to make sure that we are taking into account everyone's ideas and everyone's work and what they might be struggling with. Best practice number four. Respect is one of my favorite practices. Respect is a virtual for it's virtual for effective communication. Everyone is a valuable member of the group and should be treated with respect. With more respect than one another in our teams. Great ideas are great ideas no matter where they came from. I think it is important that we are not only seen, but we are also being heard. We need to make sure that we are allowing everyone a nice, cool, welcoming environment where they are able to be themselves and share their ideas as well as gain ideas from each other. Reason number one. Melissa Howard explains that communicating in higher education is difficult due to the many stakeholders involved. Communicating, communication, sorry, that is accessible to all these, to all these dynamics can be very complicated. It is important to adapt to diverse audience appropriately. Reason number two. Communication fails because it is difficult to coordinate everyone. Te techniques, audience, and timing are all crucial for facilitating dialogue between communicators and their audience. Students' surveys and evaluations are important. We can use these surveys and evaluations to help us become better communicators as well as better teachers. It can help us understand what we are lacking and what we need to make better. Today's topic has focused on two of the ways to de-escalate heating situations. If both students get angry or heated, the situation can quickly escalate. One side can be calm while the other responds by remaining calm. This will let them know that you are listening and you are willing to make it easier to have a conversation. Effective communication can be made possible by techniques, by the techniques mentioned above. In conclusion, four communications best practices have been identified. Encourage dialogue, meet regularly, and include, include everyone. Communication can be difficult in higher education it can be hard to establish dialogue among many audiences and communications. Thank you.